Guys, are you serious? What did they do? <laughs> wow. What's up guys? So today is Christmas Eve and I'm actually going to be heading to see my friends at M-Tech Performance in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to get the Panamericana grill installed on my dad's C63S Cabriolet. Now he obviously has no idea that I'm going to be doing this. I've been having to do a lot of sneaking around. Um, a couple weeks ago, me, my sister and uh, her boyfriend, we all kind of split the cost of the grill for his Christmas gift. And uh, it's a brand new Panamericana grill for his car. And it's in the silver and black finish, I believe, a two-tone. So I'm gonna be taking the car there to get it installed. I've just had the grill in my closet for the past like almost month. So um, I had to actually sneak it out of the house without him seeing, put it in the trunk. Let's see if this actually fits in the trunk. I might have to use the uh, rear seat pass-through, we'll see. Definitely not gonna fit, hmm. What if I could just put it in the uh, back seat? Okay, just had a code read. Uh, the creator, AKA my dad came outside and uh, one of the, this is one of the people that did a good job distracting him, thank you. So I had to hide this shit on the side of the house. And, uh... Alright. So it's not going to fit in the trunk, and even if I was, was able to put down the seat, which I can, it's not going to fit, like, it's not going to be able to go underneath. So good thing he has dark tent, because I'm going to have to put it in the back seat. Yeah, let's uh, see if it'll fit in the back there. Is it clear? As long as we can lay it across the back of the seat. Yeah, it'll fit. Oh yeah. And he's not gonna have any. Re yeah, you just you just pull that lever and it'll go back in, into place. Okay. He's not gonna have a reason to look in here, especially with the light off. So. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Now we just have to wait till the morning, and uh, I'll go get the new grill installed. And I just made up a reason why I need his car. I just said that they have to do some kind of software update, so we just switch cars for the day. And I really can't wait to see the look on his face. So I'm gonna be going to get the grill installed. Uh, I'm gonna be going in the morning, of course. And I'm gonna get the car home as soon as possible without him seeing the car, hopefully put it in the garage so the nose will be against the wall and he won't see it until Christmas morning. So, should be interesting. All right, so right now I'm gonna to head to M-Tech, get that new Panamericana grill installed. I just got to M-Tech Performance. You see their beautiful new lot and they got their other building here now. So they have both buildings. That's Drew over there. He's pointing me to go over here to the new shop. Just gonna pull right up in front for him. All right, Drew's just about to pull the car in.
Yeah, so the only way we're going to get this box out, I mean, at least the easiest way, is uh, definitely just by putting the top down. Thank God for convertibles. So we couldn't get it to fit in the trunk because the weird, like, bulkhead that the roof has to get, get it's not like the S-Pass is where you can put the partition up. So there it is. It perfectly fits in the back seat. New Pan Americana grill. All right, opening the grill up for the first time. Praying it's the right one, and uh, you never know these days. But it should be the black and chrome grill with the uh, front camera surround. Packaging looks nice. And it looks like a Pan Americana grill. Oh, okay, so it's the all black one. Actually, the all black one I think might look nicer now that I'm like really looking at the front car, the front of the car with the two grills. This is all silver, and I realize he has all this black down here. Mm -hmm. That could look really good. Okay, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad they made a mistake because I ordered, oh, and it came with actually the badge on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing is, it doesn't have the camera shine, does it? No, it's there. Oh, it is? I'm going to have to take it off and dump it Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So the camera surround goes on that. Yeah. There it is. All gloss black Pan Americana grill for the W205. Or in this case, the A205. What do you mean yeah, that it, you hit that, that could backfire. I'm going to say there's some weird damage on it or something. Or not, not like, damage, but like this. Like, look, Dad, I accidentally I don't bumped your car. Oh, God. He's going to be like, what? <laughs> not my car. All right, so this lift is a little bit too steep or it's at a weird angle for the car. It's very, very low. Uh, we don't really want to use wood. Um, may, may not even, wouldn't, might not even work. So we're just moving it over to this lift over here. Just move this Maserati out of the way. Alright, the Pan Americana grill is on. Drew did an amazing job. I'm gonna pull it outside so you guys can see it out in the sun.
Wow, that looks good. Wow, guys, this all black, gloss black Panamericana grill looks incredible with all the existing black trim here. You still have the mesh on the bottom, which I love. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad that it's actually wasn't the two-tone black and silver. The car looks, look, looks so much more menacing now. And it already came with the badge. Of course, the mount for the front cameras there. You can see right there. It uses the same star with the Distronic Plus. It looks awesome and I can't wait to surprise my dad tomorrow on Christmas morning. Okay, so right now I'm going to get the car home, make sure he doesn't see it, get it in the garage. Uh, the nose will be up against the wall so he's not going to see the grill. And uh, wait till tomorrow morning and I'm going uh, to figure out a way to surprise him. I don't know if I'll, I'll tell him maybe there's some kind of weird damage on the car or something to get him out in the garage. But I'm going to move it out in the driveway before that and uh, we'll get his reaction. So see you guys tomorrow. All right, just got home. Had to kill a little bit of time. Uh, my dad had an appointment, so uh, he took my car and uh, ended up getting the car washed. The weather's pretty nice for the time being. Got the car in the garage. And um, as you can see, I mean, even if he were to come out in the garage later, he wouldn't be coming over here. Even if he was like right here, you still can't tell that it has the Pan Americana grill. So I'm not worried about that. And now we just wait for tomorrow, Christmas morning. And uh, then I'll be able to show him his Christmas present, AKA the Pan Americana grill for his C63S Cabriolet. Okay, so it's Christmas morning. We're just about to start opening Christmas presents. I'm gonna say I have to go in the garage real quick to uh, charge my RC truck batteries, which is not a lie. I actually do have to charge them. We're gonna play with the trucks later. It's about uh, 55 degrees out right now in South Florida. I think this is the coldest Christmas we've had in like 20 years or something like that for the whole state, not just South Florida. So, um, I'm gonna make my dad open his present first, and I'm gonna say that your present's out in the garage. We couldn't wrap it, so he's gonna come out in the garage and see it. And I'm actually gonna go get the key right now, back it out of the garage, so it'll be right in the sun when he comes out and sees it. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna have to start the car in quiet mode, which is something I never do, but I obviously don't wanna alert my dad and he's gonna hear the car in the garage. So I'll start it in comfort. Get it out of the garage quickly. Okay. The mirror's out. Yes, I know. Okay. So we're gonna go out in the sun, right about here. I know the car's not nearly warmed up, but I'm gonna turn it off. It's fine. And, uh, now we're gonna go uh, get him and. Have him come outside and see his Christmas present. My car's out of the garage. Oh, you got me a Creighton. Guys, are you serious? <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> wow. Oh my God. What do you, you think? Guys? Gloss black Panamericana grill? Wow! Yeah. It's like a whole new car. Holy mackerel! And the funniest thing is they actually sent the wrong one. I ordered the silver and black one, which kind of looked too OEM. Now this matches all the gloss black on the bottom. I so, didn't know there was such, the, such yeah. a thing as a gloss black. Well, you black. people usually paint or wrap their grills, so I figured why not go, you know, one extra step and... Yeah, well, that doesn't look better than the silver one. So now, match, now it looks Wait a way more aggressive and it matches the, uh, the black on the bottom. Did you didn't realize you had all that black on the bottom now, did you? Did you change the bottom? Nope, that's just it's just more pronounced now because of the grill. Oh yeah, it matches the, the grills better. We tried to wrap it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it wasn't, the wind wasn't cooperating, so. Here you go, Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's your bow. Oh. And it came, it came, it came with the, uh, the badge, and um, yeah, that's it. Your star, this Distronic Plus cover goes so back on, and that's it. Good. And this, there was a little, like, platform for your little camera, because the camera's a separate part, so. Right. So instead of just giving you a cardboard box with a grill in it, we figured why not install it for you? Yeah, that's why I was sneaking around. Your car didn't really get an update. Well, your car didn't get an update. It didn't get, 
<laughs> that was a little fishy. It didn't get an update, electronic update. update. I didn't say what kind of update. I, it didn't get an electronic update. It got a so physical update. Yours was a faux visit also, just to throw me off the scent? What? No, you really did. No, I really spent like $600 on my car. <laughs> no, my car had a massive cool leak. Oh. No, that wasn't a joke. Unfortunately, it's not a Merry Christmas for me. Oh. But for you, it is. <laughs> yep. So this is from Robbie, me, and Justin. Oh my yeah. God, guys. Because it's not, it wasn't cheap, this so was we split it. I know, yeah. this, is the, this is so expensive. <laughs> oh my God. Merry Christmas. Yay, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you get your kiss too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're getting. <laughs> Looks so, so good. Well, you topped the coffee machine. Yeah, <laughs> knew I would. Do so you like it? It literally looks like a new car. So we poured it in the silver, but it came in the black, and it looks yeah, so much better. better. Well, I always thought I wanted silver, but you know what? There's really not that much silver on this car. Yeah. Also, the silver would not have matched what's on uh, the black trim here. Plus, the old girl had so much silver in it. Yeah, it was it all looked, silver. It looked and it was also the old design. The Panamericana is the new corporate face of AMG, so I figured. Because that's AMG's new design language. Now your car is actually so going to stand out as an AMG on the road. The whole thing is just perfect now. Yeah. Like, you have it lower, you have the grill. <laughs> all right guys so you saw it he loved the grill he was completely in shock was not expecting that at all um honestly i'm just very happy he liked the grill like i was saying earlier uh it is actually the wrong grill i ordered the silver and black one because that's kind of what we had discussed that he would get whenever he gets the grill but uh the company thankfully i guess sent the wrong one which is all gloss black which turns out to look really good with the gloss black trim that's already existing on the bottom part of the bumper so it looks great he's happy that's all that matters and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video. And if you're not already, please be sure to subscribe to stay updated on all my future videos. See you next time, guys.